Hello there, Peppers FM here, and welcome back to this FM21 Rail Sociedad Let's Play. So in our last match, we was 1-0 victors in the Copa del Rey final with an Oyazabal penalty. And since then, just the one game to tell you about, it was a 2-1 away victory against Girona. We actually went behind in this game to Obafemi, but Memphis Depay with a brace to uh, uh, get us back into the game shortly after. Not the best of performances from the boys. We did rotate quite a bit. Not fully, but enough players. And yeah, but we came out victors and that's the most important thing. The pie, not uh, performing to the same heights as last season. You see, he finally got 63 million. Last year, he was absolutely sensational. This year, why he's been not been bad by any stretch of the imagination. Just not been as decisive as last year. But it was always going to be difficult to try and keep up them levels. So we will play against Real Madrid today. It will be at home. And they are second in the table behind us at the moment. We do have a game in hand on them whilst being level on points for them. It will be a very tricky game nonetheless. It always is our biggest game of the season. So the team for today will be Donnarumma in goal, Porro right back, Luis Felipe and Porro Torres, the centre-backs, Robin Gosens at left back. Tonali will partner Sanchez today in the midfield as Mikel Marino has picked up a bit of an injury. Chukwueze on the right, Oyazabal as the advanced playmaker, Depay on the left. And of course, Alexander Isaac leading the line up front. Says here his star rating is only three stars at the moment. I've seen it before and a half before. Just fluctuates so much. But another great season by him. 35 goals in all competitions so far. 21 in the league. Four in the Champions League. So, very, very strong uh, performance from him this year. Let's get into the... To, if we was to win today, it would be a real statement. To go three points clear with a game in hand, we would really have stamped our authority on the title race. But it will not be easy, and I dare say it, we've not been as convincing as last year. We've had to slug out games a lot more. Not uh, at our free-flowing best. The Champions League games particularly was a big, big disappointment. The Bayern Munich games, we just did not offer anything at all over two legs. And probably we deserved to go out in the end. The Copa del Rey final wasn't too bad. But say we only won 1-0 and it was a penalty. So once again, wasn't free-flowing pass inside what we have come to know over the past couple of seasons. I'm hoping this is just a blip and we can get back to our very best uh, soon. But not the best to start so far from either team, I must say. And we're at half time already. Very boring game so far. Hopefully, something can change and a bit more from the boys. There's not been one single highlight yet. Not one. Right, we need to make a change because nothing is happening. Bring on Adnan Yanazai for Chukwueze. Alexander Isaac again. He's just not performing at the moment. It's Felipe having a bad game as well for some reason. I think get to 70th minutes and Eduard will have to come on for Isaac because he's not playing well. The pie struggling also. Make a double change. Osman Dembele will come on. He's not played too much this season. Dembele probably will look to move him on in the summer. I think he has good value. 54 million. Not really performed to a high standard when he has played or when he has been given an opportunity. So might be worth selling him, but we'll see. Martial with Madrid, for Madrid here. Ooh. Nice play. First highlight of the game, it does go to Madrid. Hopefully the subs can bring some life into this game, because we've been pretty poor so far. Finally, we're starting to be, see a little bit of action. And Usman Dembele, the substitute, number three for the season. <laughs> I was just saying that he's not performed too much. Well, not perform to a high enough standard. But these are the type of games where you do need to perform in. And what a cross by Porro. And then Bele with the finish coming in uh, from the left-hand side. Great play by the inverted winger. 
and we are one nil ahead and that is a massive goal in terms of our title hopes dare I say we have used all three subs I thought yeah we have so we'll have to keep it as it is don't want to go defensive to as we'll invite the pressure on we haven't really conceded many chances so I don't mind keeping it as it is and this game is just ticking by this has been a very boring a very dull game but at the end of the day we're still picking up the victory as Vinicius Junior goes close but what did I say last episode that man Gianluigi Donnarumma is an absolute brick wall in our goal he is solid and he keeps us in so many games and we get the three points a very even game a very dull game, but we are victors, and that will take us, you know, let's see, at the league table. Then we are three points ahead with eight games to play, and we have still got a game in hand on Real Madrid. So we have got to be favourites now. Got to be favourites. Uh, the game is a saving. Nice time to do this. But I just want to take a further look at the table. So we have three points. We are in good form in the league, actually. What did we finish on last season? Last season was 96 points. We, we stormed the league last year. No one even came close to us. We only lost two games all season last year with six draws. So what are we on so far? Uh, we've, we've lost three, but we've also only drawn three. So, well, we, I'm... Better work out if we can beat last last year's total. That's what twenty one more points. Yes, we can. So if we win, well, we have to win pretty much every other game of the season now. So maybe we will not. It will be tricky. But when shall we? Next turn. I will just see. I will see how the the league season plays out. Maybe. Uh, it will be soon, depending on how close we are uh, to the title, but something else that I've wanted to talk about. Oh yeah, Renato Sanchez. Big decision needs to be made on him if we make his move permanent. He has done okay, actually. Uh, five starts in the league and five appearances off the bench. I do like him as a box-to-box -box midfielder, but uh, I'm not sure whether to make the move permanent. We only want, how much is it? Nine point twenty million. It's probably worth it to be honest. But we'll have a look and see who else is in the market or available in the market. And it, of course we will need to see how much uh, money we do have available to us. This guy as well who we've had a, gave away on loan for the past few seasons. Is it time to let him have a, a chance? He has had a very good season at Celtic Figo so far. So I am thinking it might be worth keeping him around next year. He's had plenty of game time over the past few seasons out on loan. He did uh, start the first season for us, but yeah, his attributes aren't the best, but I have faith in him. Anyway, it's been your boy Peppers FM. Please leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. Peace out. <laughs>